Two critical bills have been reintroduced in the House. They are aimed at securing our borders. One would immediately suspend the controversial refugee resettlement program in this country. The other bill would halt foreign aid and travel visas to any country that refuses to take back their citizens if they are deported from the United States. Both bills have been sitting in committee since 2015. Joining us now, the sponsor of both of those measures, Congressman Brian Babbitt. He serves on the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. Great to have you with us, Congressman. Uh, before, great to be with you, Lou. Before we get to, uh, to the, the bills and their disposition, what's going on with the, the damn picture? Uh, that is a disgrace. You know, uh, this is... Uh, we, uh, most of us in our offices have uh, art contests each year. We hang the winners uh, in the Capitol. Uh, unfortunately, uh, one of our colleagues on the other side of the aisle has hung up a painting which I think is very, very divisive, uh, very def defamatory towards the law enforcement officers, our, our men, and, men and women in blue. And just, it's hanging just yards down the hall from a uh, uh, Capitol Police checkpoint where these police actually would they guard the, us as congressmen, including right. the, the congressman Look. that hung this up, and would take a bullet for him, and they are portrayed as pigs in this painting. It's a disgrace, and it should be taken down. It is against the rules congressman, of the House. You're talking about Congressman Clay of Missouri. You're talking about a picture that depicts the law enforcement, an officer as a pig. Uh, and That's right. I, I know Duncan Hunter, I know that you, I, I know that uh, Rohrbacker, a number of you have taken this thing down after Congressman Clay insists that it be put up, which is his right. Uh, but to give you some sense of the, the emotion around this, uh, these are some of, the, uh, some of the comments that I'm getting on Twitter. Uh, you know, uh, let me turn to this thing. It's like these things are coming in pretty fast. Uh, saying, take down the damn painting, take it to the Pentagon shooting range. And I mean, you get the idea. They've had a belly full of this. Why should something so offensive be up uh, in the Capitol? Well, I, it's against the House rules. I think the... Uh, uh, so we're Speaker, Speaker Ryan. Why isn't he uh, I, arbitrating? I talked I talk to the Speaker today about it at lunchtime, and uh, we, are, we are making moves to, to have that... Uh, removed. It is, it is against protocols, against House rules. It is defamatory. It is uh, controversial and political. It should not be up hanging yeah. where it is. Yeah, it, it, it's awful. And, and, That's uh, right. And I can't even imagine what the congressman is thinking. Uh, let, let's turn to another thing. I can't imagine why your bills are, aren't even being taken up uh, with a vote. I mean, why isn't the Congress of the United States responding to the two bills because they make every sense. They would secure the, the nation. Uh, they would fix what is a gaping g vulnerability uh, in, our, uh, in our homeland defense. There's no question about it. The, the uh, uh, Resettlement uh, Act, uh, the uh, uh, Refugee Act is nothing but a Trojan horse. We've seen over and over again how innocent Americans are being, being killed and hurt. Our allies in, in, uh, allies in Western Europe, the same thing. Tens of thousands of illegal uh, criminal aliens are being released upon the streets uh, to roam at will, and their native countries will not repatriate them. And this, uh, these two bills, one will pause the refugee right. program until we can vet them properly. The second one uh, would put some teeth in the law so that we can take away their visa programs, these countries that refuse to, to uh, repatriate their, their criminal uh, citizens, uh, and so also what, cut, off, cut off their foreign aid. It's a no-brainer, Lou. It just it, it well, needs to we, be passed. Let's talk about a couple of powerful Texans there with you. Uh, you know, Brady, uh, you know, uh, what, what does he say? Hey, can't you find some help there? You know, even uh, the speaker. Uh, come on. I th well, hey, Lou, we have a sea change in, the, re in the, the political scene up here since the election of Donald J. Trump. He has been talking about these for the last six months, the last year as he was running. Right. And uh, I'm telling you, I reintroduced these bills, and I, I expect that uh, if they don't get in... Uh, 
uh, in, into law in some form or fashion, I'll be very greatly surprised. I'm getting uh, a lot of co-sponsors on, even Democrats, uh, that have, have signed on to uh, uh, one or the other one. And uh, we, we're going to get this thing, we'll, we'll get it through. I think we're going to, I think Mr. Trump is going to help push this agenda, and the House will as well. I've spoken with the leadership, right. and uh, I'm getting some, I'm getting some cooperation. All right. That's right, I sure am, Lou. Congressman Brian Babbitt, great to have you here. Thanks so much.